Aloha from Kilipohe, Kekani Lahoa. So uh, today's Saturday and that's the day we turn the uh, compost over. Um, and today I'm actually going to be using the rotary trummel and sifting out this pile here. It's down to uh, about 110 degrees. Which really, I would like it to be down to 100 degrees before I do this, but the last couple of times I've done it, it's really, it's looked very ready. You'll see uh, when I dig into it how nice it is. Um, so, but I'm, I think it's ready enough. We'll run it through the trummel, get out the nice fine stuff in the, uh, in the fine section here, and then whatever's left over, the larger junk, We'll use that for mulch on the bananas or someplace else. So let's get started. Okay, we got the cover pulled back. And now you can see what it looks like here. It's, uh, you know, it's pretty fine. Still a little bit of organic matter, some bugs in there. Um, but it really kind of just looks like coffee grounds, which is kind of how we want it, uh, how I like it when it starts looking like coffee grounds. Um, when I pulled back the cover, there was a couple of rats living in the pile here, so had to evict them. Uh, I wasn't able to catch them, so I'll have to put out some traps. But they had dug a hole, obviously. It's nice and warm in there for them, so uh, that's what uh, attracts them to that. So we're gonna start putting it in the trommel here. Uh, I'll try to get some video of that, and uh, and after we get a wheelbarrow full, I'll show you what it looks like after it's gone through the trommel. Okay, so we're gonna do that with the whole thing here. I just wanna try to make sure it doesn't <laughs> get outside the funnel too much. And you can see, this is the fine stuff. All the little white flecks in there, those are uh, pieces of eggshell. And then this is uh, the multi stuff that we get out of it. Um, yeah, so I'll just keep doing that until I got a full wheelbarrow full and then I'll bring you back. Okay, well, that was maybe five minutes and uh, that's, I don't know, maybe a quarter of what we had to go through. And uh, now we'll pull this thing out of here and uh, take it on over to the garden, find some place to put it. Shovel. If you're wondering how I can do this wheelbarrow with one hand, it's got two wheels, so <laughs> that's why. Okay. Looks like 
a good spot. You can see the level is down a little bit here. This is our jicama and our onion, so I'll just pile a bunch of it here in the middle and uh, we'll see if we can't uh, fill this thing in a little bit. you're wondering what it smells like, it really smells like really, really rich dirt. Um, when it's young, before it's um, matured and decomposed fully, it, uh, it, it kind of has a grassy smell. It depends on what's been put in it. Sometimes it smells a little like... Uh, like poo or uh, rotting meat. You know, we put everything into the compost. Anything that's even remotely organic. Um, we save all the bones from the meat we eat and we run them to the chipper and uh, put it through here. Like I said, the eggshells are in here. The, uh, calcium for the plants. And, uh, and it just falls right apart. I mean, you can't even buy this kind of stuff. All right, I'll pause you there, and we'll, we'll keep going and uh, see where we end up. Okay, that's just a thin layer there on the uh, onions. These ones here, these are all green onions. And then these are bulb onions. So uh, I don't know if this is the right way to treat them or not, but that's what I do. Okay, that's it. Uh, three good sized wheelbarrows full of compost out of that batch. That's a little bit smaller than I really would like, but. Uh, it is what it is, and then one wheelbarrow full of waste. This is a piece of an aluminum can, and uh, we'll just put that on wherever for mulch, and we'll put this in the garden. Okay, we're running about almost 10 minutes now, so I think I'm going to break it here, and this will be part one. But uh, here's, here's our finished compost. Some of it in bed uh, six here with the onions and the jicama, which don't need it, but they're coming out pretty soon. And then the rest of it over here in bed three and a little bit, a little bit in bed two. Um, bed three has been down quite a bit. I don't think it's had any compost added in quite a while. And it's done a lot of tomatoes and a lot of tomatoes. So, um... It's, uh, it's needed some in a little while. These uh, zinnias over here are just kind of here because I don't want to pull them out. Um, yeah, and then a little bit left over here. Um, for the uh, peppers. I would like to say that this is the only way I add fertility to the beds, but I would be lying. This is... Uh, this is really just a way for us to get rid of our kitchen waste. I'll go into that a little bit further in part two. But um, really, this is just uh, kind of a side shoot. I, you know, maybe someday if uh, I get really good at it, this will be a way that I can have all of our fertility for the gardens produced. But really, this doesn't do it. I have to use... Uh, uh, commercial fertilizer 
it's organic, but I still have to use that to get enough fertility to do the peppers and the tomatoes and everything else. They just take too much. So anyway, all right, that's it for part one. And uh, I'll put the trommel away and we'll come back and we'll show you what's underneath this cover um, and, uh, and get some of this going in there as well. All right, aloha.